healthcare market, or should I say the healthcare sector in Ghana, like most parts of sub-Saharan Africa, is in dire need of innovation. Simple. While sectors such as banking, telecommunications have, ad have advanced in leaps and bounds, when it comes to innovation, the healthcare sector is still pretty rudimentary. If you've had the opportunity to visit any, most, most healthcare facilities in Ghana, there's one thing you'd realize. Everything is so manualized, paper-based. It's, it's a very slow and dragging process trying to access healthcare in Ghana. Now, I am a pharmacist, but I'm a very different kind of pharmacist. When you think of pharmacy, or a pharmacist, what comes to your mind? Is someone dispensing medication, sitting behind the counter? True. But I'm going to challenge your notion on that today, and I'm going to tell you a story of hope. Now, in 2012, I had a friend approach me, and this friend came to me telling me that he had the opportunity of his life. He had met some potential investors who were willing to, you know, put in decent money in his pharmacy business. But there was a catch. Before the investors put in their money, they wanted reliable healthcare data, statistics, telling them that in the past one year, this was medicine usage in the country. This was the top moving drug. This was the market to put our money in. Without the reliable data, they were just not going to invest. And if you've ever tried to get access to data in this country, you would realize it is very, very challenging. You have probably better odds of waking up one morning and finding gold in your backyard than getting analyzed, hardcore data in this country. So I decided to help this friend to find the data. And he had just a month to come up with this. Needless to say, he couldn't bring up the data in that period. So he lost out on an opportunity that could have transformed his life, transformed his business at that young age. So I thought to myself, this is not good enough. There must be access to healthcare data. So with this friend who had just lost an opportunity of his life, being well motivated, we teamed up with my brother and we decided that we have to find a solution to this. So, we set our minds to it. Now, the challenge, I'll tell you a few of the challenges we went through. The first challenge was, let me give you an example. Let's take paracetamol. I can call it paracetamol. Someone else will call it para. Someone else will call it pimo. Someone else will use the American version and call it acetaminophen. It's all the same product. There is no standardized name of, there's no standardized way of naming medications in this country. And that was going to be a big challenge if you wanted to build a, a good database. But that didn't deter us. We set our minds to it, and we worked hard at it, sleepless nights. I think we did, on average, two sleepless nights a week. And it was tough. But in the end, we were able to develop this database, which exists today. And as we speak, it has more than 4 million different entries in it updated every three months. But for us, that is not good enough. This database should be at a point where it is updated every single day. What happened yesterday should be accessible today. That is the only way we'll be able to see true, health, true, true trends that are happening in the healthcare space. And this is innovation that was bred in Ghana, for Ghana, and the rest of Africa. Nobody is going to take responsibility for the problems that exist in our healthcare space unless we take that responsibility ourselves. Now, once we had, able, we had been able to do this, we were, should I say, motivated. We were inspired to do more. So we turned our attention to what else was there that we could look at. And that was where we turned our attention to health insurance. Now, 
The aim of health insurance in any society is to guarantee greater access to health. True. But the challenge here is that there are no systems to check how health insurance is, is executed at the end of the providers. And because of this, our national health insurance is under pressure. Every time there are complaints about how much spend is just bloating up, and some of the private health insurance companies are also under serious pressure, and some have even collapsed in the past two years. So we decided that we needed to do something about this. I wasn't going to sit there for somebody to drop from space to come and solve this. We had to solve it ourselves. So we applied our minds to it and decided that we needed to do something about it. Now, there were three things this system needed to ensure or it should be able to do. The first one was, when you are in the health insurance business, what happens is that services are provided at the healthcare end, and then they bring you the claims for them to get their money. But whatever system we were building should have the ability that even before the claims leave the hospital, it can automatically check to see if everything is okay. It can check to see if your diagnosis is linked to the right medication that you were provided with. It should be able to check if you were already on a previous medication similar to what you have been prescribed and you've not finished using it. That is the only way we can do rational drug use. And the other thing too was um, for providers, because of this system whereby when you send the claims to the, for, to the health insurance providers, they have to check these things, which has already happened, meaning they are already obliged to pay you meaning the money, even if it's false or it's not the right claim, it will be guaranteed they have to pay it. Fine. But then, the other thing is because when it comes to them, they have to manually check all these things. The time that claims are paid in this country, if anybody here is into that business, you will know, or you have a hospital or a pharmacy, you know that it takes on the average between three to nine months for you to get your money from any health insurance company. If we could solve the challenge of whereby the system at the hospitals and the pharmacies and the laboratory ends can automatically do this check, then it means that the, the, the insurance companies would be able to pay you your money within a matter of days that you submit your claims. So that is what we attempted to do. The other catch was there are systems like this around the world, but they all run solely on the internet because there needs to be constant updates. But this is Africa, this is Ghana. Internet reliability in all 10 regions is a problem, so we needed to find a way around it. We applied our minds to it, and I must say we did it. Today, this system is installed in almost 200 facilities only in Accra, and it is managing health insurance end-to-end -end for some of the biggest private health insurance companies. These are solutions that we thought about, and we decided to build them right here. Nobody is going to take the responsibility for us. So then I want to ask everyone here, what is the future? There are so many other problems existing in the healthcare space. I cannot solve all of them alone, but I am motivated. And as we speak, I am working on several of them. But I want to charge especially the young ones here. The solutions, the answers we seek, lie in us. If we just sit down, apply our minds to it, decide to team up with each other and work through things, we will be able to solve all these challenges. I want to leave everyone here with three things when you are setting out to do things like this. You first of all need to have the passion and the drive and the belief in yourself. The second thing is just because you have had the idea, don't assume it's going to work. It may not work. You need to go out, talk to the people who will be using your solution. Find out what are their complaints, what are their real challenges, what are their problems, and get a hand of it and inculcate that into your design. And the third thing is, have a singular vision and goal. Stick to it. If we all apply these principles and work hard at it, we can solve all the problems existing in the healthcare space. Thank you very much.